Hello, welcome back. So today we will solve our first problem based on stack. So again we are at lead code and we will be solving this problem called parent parenthesis. So what this problem says, let's go through it. Given a string containing just characters, opening first bracket, opening second bracket, or other this all sort of parentheses, determine if the string is valid. When a string can be called valid? A string can be called valid if open bracket must be closed by the same type of bracket and open bracket must be closed in the correct order. Okay. Note that uh, note that an empty string is also considered as a valid. Okay. So if the empty string is given, that is also true. So over here you can see there is a first bracket opening and there is a first bracket closing. So these two making a balance parenthesis. That's why we are returning true. Then it comes an opening bracket, then a closing bracket, again an opening bracket, and a closing bracket, and so on. So that's why this is also true. But over here, you can see we have an opening bracket of first bracket, but then we are having the closing bracket of this square brackets, not the round brackets which we have previously. So that's why it's a false. We cannot say this is a balance parenthesis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now here it is also false. Why is false? Because we see that opening bracket, opening bracket, but for this to be balanced, after this uh, square bracket, here there must be a square bracket, and then after there must be a round bracket. Then we can call it true. But here we are not having that, way. so that's why it's false. Because we are supposed to maintain the correct order also, right? So Noticing this keyword over here, order, you remember in our previous lesson that whenever we have to keep the order or we have to keep the history or record, we use stack. So that's why we will be also using stack. So I will be explaining more why we are using stack over here. So that is the one basic thing I want you guys to observe. So this is also false and this is also true because this square bracket is closing by another square bracket and this curly bracket is closed by this curly bracket, so that's why it's true. So this is the basic problem and let's go to the whiteboard and let's see how we can solve this. So after going through the problem statement on the computer, let's understand the problem a bit better. So what this problem actually asks us to do? So this is a very practical real life problem which we solve using stack. We use uh, code editors like Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, or even atom or any sort of things where well, we have this feature like whenever we write down one bracket and there is one closing bracket it detects that it's a it's a balance parenthesis right but whatever what will happen if suppose um, we write another bracket over here of this sort and close this bracket instead of over here we close it over here so it will detect uh, or give an error because this whole thing is balanced but after this is getting balanced we are getting its counterpart after this balance after this balance parenthesis so we cannot just draw a line like this this won't be called a balance parenthesis we have to make it or observe in such a way that this whole thing comes inside a con contour like structure so if we move this closing parenthesis from over here to over here then we can say it it's balanced because this whole thing comes under this balance parenthesis and then this is valid we can also have something like this inside this this is also balanced if we have opening and closing over here this is also balanced but we cannot have like over here we are opening it and we are closing it over here this cannot be called balanced because in this contour sorry this can be called uh, balance but this cannot be like this over here this is cannot this cannot be called balance because uh, if we draw like this this is coming in between and its closing counterpart is uh, getting outside this line you are getting my point right so this is what we are supposed to implement so how we can do it so let me write down some example so for the sake of understanding we are not considering all sort of brackets like round, curly and square. Uh, for understanding purpose over here on the whiteboard, we will be, we'll be just focusing on the round brackets and 
once we go to the code editor when i will be explaining the code then i will uh, make you understand all the different changes we have to make if we have to deal with all sort of brackets okay so let me write down some sequences of brackets this so just by looking at this is this balanced yes obviously this is balanced because this part is balanced and this part is balanced so this will return true now is this balanced no this is not balanced because this part not having any opening bracket right now let me write down a big sequence now is this balanced let's look into it no this is not balanced because this is an extra opening bracket we don't have a closing bracket for that so this is not balanced so this is balanced this is not balanced and this is not balanced so how we will be solving this problem exactly so we will be using a stack for this so now we have to understand why we are using stack for this as i have said earlier that stack uses or stack keeps a record of some sort which we can refer to whenever we need so why the keeping record stuff is important over here so let's uh, think of it for a moment like if we encounter an opening bracket it's okay let's move forward if we again encounter a closing bracket like this so we have to see if it is corresponding to any opening bracket which is existing just before it you are getting my point right if you are not getting somewhere just go through the video once again you will surely understand okay so i am repeating once again if we are encountering any sort of closing parenthesis there must be a opening counterpart of this parenthesis for being for it be for it to be a balanced parenthesis right so how can we know that if this closing parenthesis having a counterpart of opening parenthesis just before the occurrence of the closing parenthesis for that we are keeping a track of this opening parenthesis in a stack so whenever we get a closing parenthesis we will pop the stack and check if we are having the same type of opening parenthesis as this then this two becomes balanced so you are getting right so let me go through one example then it would be better for you to understand like here we are getting or using a stack so whenever we are uh, encountering a closing parenthesis sorry opening parenthesis like this we push it into the stack so we push it into the stack okay one element is in the stack then we move to from here to here we are getting a closing parenthesis so now we will be checking at the top of the stack why top of the stack as i have said it keeps the trick record that what is the immediate previous opening bracket of this closing bracket if it's of the same type then this bracket is balanced right so it will check the top of the stack what is the top of the stack it is this rounded opening bracket so is this balancing this yes this is balancing so it will pop it and we will move the pointer to here again it's an opening bracket so let's push it over here then move the pointer we are over here we are checking it is a closing bracket so let me check it with the top of the stack the top of the stack is this sort of bracket so let me check it with this are they balancing each other yes they are balancing each other so let's pop it and after popping if the stack is empty and we have traversed this whole string that means we are having a correct sort of balancing parenthesis so let's go through one example where it is not balanced so again let me draw the stack first of all we are doing the same thing opening so pushing it here then closing okay so closing means we have to pop and check it with this are they matching yes they are matching so we move forward again we encounter closing but when we encounter closing there is nothing in the stack so that means what we have nothing to compare it with so that means it is obviously false because the stack is uh, empty before the string is over before the string traversal is over we are at this position and the stack is empty so that means what this is false not balanced so let me go through this example this will give you an clear picture
then we will move to the coding part so we will require a bigger stack like this okay so opening bracket let's push it over here again opening bracket let's push it over here then <coughs> sorry we encounter one closing parenthesis so what is the immediate pds uh, opening parenthesis this one so we have to pop this pop this and check yeah they are matching so no worries move forward again we encounter a opening parenthesis so push it again we encounter opening parenthesis so push it now we encounter one closing parenthesis okay so pop and check with it so they are matching so no worries so move forward we are at this so check it with this pop and after checking it's okay so after that we have completely traversed the string but still we can see our stack is not empty because we are left with one extra opening parenthesis so that means it's not true so this is not balanced so in these two examples we see two possibilities one if the whole string is traversed uh, and uh, there is still one parenthesis left that means one extra opening bracket is there and another possibility is for this example here one extra closing parenthesis is there and how can we detect there is one closing extra closing parenthesis then what will happen the stack will become empty before we have completely traversed this string there is no element in the uh, stack but we can still see the whole string is not traversed yet we still are having this closing parenthesis so these two cases they are not true but in this case it is true when the stack is empty also and we have also traversed the whole uh, whole string so this is the basic understanding on how to solve this and let me just go through the quick quickly code quickly and uh, just go through line by line so let's go to the computer so this is the code for that code i have just explained in the whiteboard so over here we are given with a string of parentheses and this function called is valid so first of all we are checking if it's a empty string or not it is same if it is an empty string we are returning true as instructed in the problem because uh, that an empty string is also considered as valid okay so after that we are taking a stack and a boolean called is balanced and we are starting with index 0 so we are traversing the whole string and also checking if is balanced flag is uh, empty uh, sorry true or not so first of all we are getting the uh, parenthesis at the first index then we are checking if this parenthesis of is of any of the type of opening parenthesis or not so in the example i have said uh, in the whiteboard i have said just that uh, we are just discussing uh, first round bracket but while implementing i will show all the other brackets also so here we can see the all the other brackets is just simple as that because we are using p over here to store the opening bracket we have to check if it's an opening bracket of any sort if it's an opening bracket what we were doing we will be pushing the element this append method is nothing but this push uh, let me write down one comment over here it's a push so if it's pushed it's okay after that uh, the loop increments the index and comes to here it's a closing bracket okay so it will go to the else part here we check if the length of the stack is zero no it's not zero so if it was zero that means what we again uh, it means what that we saw the example over there that we haven't traversed the whole string but the stack is uh, not i mean the stack is empty that means what we are having an extra closing parenthesis so that means it's false if that was the case we directly made this uh, boolean false and we would just completely stop the iteration and we would just return uh, it's not balanced but it is not in this case so that's why we go to this else part now so we pop the element from the stack top of the stack as we have seen in the whiteboard and using this helper function we are checking if the popped element is uh, i mean balancing the current element we are at so how the helper function works the p1 is the current element we are on and p2 is the popped element so we are checking if they both balancing each other like this it's a opening round and or closing round or opening curly and closing curly and so on if these are the cases then we are simply returning true 
or else if any of them are not satisfying we will return false so if this function returns false so that means that they are not matching in sequence like we are for this like it will happen like this for example we are getting one opening round bracket but closing square bracket so that means it's false so then also if it's not matching and helper returning false we will make this is balance false and terminate this loop and return false but for this example it is not happening because we are balancing each other so that's why it it returns false and we again increment index and we completely now traverse this string and our is balance uh, boolean is still remaining to be true and also our stack is zero so that means what for this case we have completely traversed the string given and also the stack is empty that's why if these two conditions are satisfied then we will return true or else we will return false so this is pretty much the code it is pretty simple just go to git code and try it for yourself and you will understand it better so let me submit it and now before wrapping up let me tell you what is the time complexity of operation of stack so the time complexity of both push and pop operation is order of one because we are uh, i mean whatever operation we are doing we are doing it on the top of the stack so the top of the stack can be accessed in constant time so that's why the push and the pop operation is constant time operation so that is pretty much it on how to solve this problem based on stacks or various parentheses on lead code so thank you for watching